Well, welcome back. In today's Zoo to You segment, we're here on location at the Louisiana Purchase Gardens and Zoo, and I'm here with Danny, and we have two little friends. We have Willie and Charlie over here in the background. Don't know if you can see him quite yet, but I'm sure he'll come back over here. Danny, start by telling us a little bit about our friends here. Well, very similar to our African pygmy goat, we have our Nigerian dwarf goats. These actually are descended from the same area of goats. Uh, these guys differ in color, and also these guys are considered to be more delicate than the African pygmy goat that y'all may have seen earlier. Oh, and so where do these types of goats come from? Like, where do you mainly find them? They would be found um, excluding like your 4-H programs or anything that we have brought over. You'd mainly find them in the uh, west coast of Africa, is at least where they're descended from. Oh, very cool. And what do they like to eat? What does their lunch consist of? Just about anything that they can get their hands on or their feet on. <laughs> uh, these guys primarily would live off of grass. Uh, they also like zookeeper shirts as well <laughs> as trash bags as we're trying to clean up their exhibit. So we have to keep an eye on our stuff to make sure they don't try to eat our equipment. So they can find a meal about in anything, correct? <laughs> yes, they're very hardy. They're very good at, adept at surviving and finding food. Uh, goats are known for eating just about anything, and these guys like to live up to that stereotype. What would, would this be like a good place for them here in Louisiana and for someone to take care of? These guys are pretty hardy, and they're very adaptable. Uh, I particularly don't recommend raising goats just because they like to headbutt everything, <laughs> including my leg. But these guys are very sweet. If you spend a lot of time with them, you can actually, uh, I mean, they're just like dogs. They will eat out of your hand. They'll be very sweet. You just got to keep in mind that they do like to headbutt things, so they tend to be a bit destructive. Oh, I see. And they actually have horns. Is that what you call them? Yes. Horns on their head. So what are they, what's their purpose of that? And here's Charlie right here. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Now their horns are going to be uh, mainly for self-defense and also for fighting over territory. So if they are uh, defending their area, trying to be the best goat out in the group, then they will often, you'll see them headbutting. As a matter of fact, at the zoo, you'll see Willie and Charlie headbutting a lot. That is their play and also their dominancy that they are showing. They don't mean anything uh, necessarily aggressive about it but they use their horns as kind of a bracing thing so they don't hit their head. And then, of course, if in the wild they were attacked by something, it gives them a really good defense. Gotcha. And uh, when can people come feed Willie and Charlie? Generally, we'll try to have the petting zoo open at 11, 1, and 3. We'll have either uh, one of our education keepers, our boat driver present, and you can actually buy some petting zoo food and feed all the animals in there. Oh, that sounds super fun. Of course, the location of the zoo and the times that they're open is there on your screen as well. Danny, thank you so much for letting us come out here and hang out with the goats. Thank y'all for coming out. Of course, we're going to have more news and weather after the break. Stay with us.